Well, this is Leora Zayat here with Matt Grant, who just played Hosea in the dancing duet of Hosea's Bride, and we just premiered it here in Jerusalem at the first station. Hey, Matt, how are you doing today? Good, thanks. Good. Well, I asked Matt if we could do a candid interview, because when you see people acting or dancing, whatever they're doing up on stage, you know, you really know nothing about them, and I just wanted to do an up-close and personal interview with Matt. So, Matt, what was it like for you to come here and to be Hosea from Hosea's Bride? Go ahead. It was wonderful. Um, I mean, I didn't dream I'd be coming to Israel doing this. Right. That it's like the Lord put it here and boom, I'm Hosea and I'm on stage. Wow. <laughs> I know. It seems like, Pitom, it seems like suddenly, but actually to us it seems like a suddenly. But to God, I mean, it's been in, in his plan all along from the beginnings of time, which is really like, I can't even wrap my head around that. I mean, that's just so amazing. So, Matt, um, just tell us a little bit, what do you do back in New Zealand where you're from? Well, I have actually been an IT software engineer and doing dance um, in my spare time, but quite seriously as a dance teacher. Then I've been to university and done training and dance studies and also done a whole lot of dance training since I was 39. Uh, I'd like to ask you about that. You started dancing when you were 39. Um, do you want to divulge your age or is that a secret? You do not have to divulge your age. Well, I'm 50. You're 50. Okay. So you've been dancing for 11 years. Oh, uh, 10 or so. Okay. And I'd like to ask you if you can share with us how you got into dancing because I find it fascinating. Let's well, let everybody else I hear. Actually, um, I, was in, I was actually working in Wellington, New Zealand at the time. And the IT work I was doing, I was getting more and more um, stressed out. And my sleep hours were just decreasing all the time. Um, I was getting, I was having to answer pager calls and stuff like 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning. Um, I tried diversifying and changing jobs and all that sort of stuff, but I actually ended up in the, in the place where I wasn't actually sleeping so well. I couldn't, wasn't even employable. And then we lost our flat. Because you had terrible, you had insomnia. You were inflicted yeah, with insomnia. I had insomnia. And that, and so that led you into dance. Yes, yes, that's true. And um, it's just I, I was just doing computers at home and computers at work, and it was like I needed to reconnect with myself. Yes. And I knew that I needed, I ran into a lady and she took me through the Alexander Technique and a whole lot of improvisation and contact improv. And also started worship dancing at the same time. That's awesome, man. And um, I realized, hey, um, I just need to really reconnect with my body here. And um, I was looking forward to doing the dance lesson in the middle of my contract work, even when I was getting the insomnia. <laughs> So you mentioned to me that you have built your own dance studio in your garage, at home. So what, what inspired you to do that? Well, I was actually teaching in a village about one hour's drive away from the place where we were living. But it was like I had to practice. And I costed the... Previously I'd been practicing in a hall. Right. At $10 New Zealand an hour. And I realized that for a, you know, doing about eight to ten hours of... Um, practice every week, it was like, okay, um, I could either spend 80 or $120 a week, right? Um, and probably, you know, end up spend, easily spending $3,000 in the year, right? sink the money, um, a third of that money into building my own floor and bar, etc. in the garage. That's wonderful. I'm so excited about that. Matt has actually offered to, to build me a dance studio because um, a lot of the, we have a lot of similar vision for things that we'd like to see happen in Jerusalem. And, uh, and I've been praying about putting a studio in my home in the meantime while I'm waiting for God to uh, raise up the place to put an absolutely gigantic, humongous uh, studio uh, in the heart of the city in Jerusalem. So, um, so that's a wonderful offer that he made me, and I appreciate that, Matt. So, Matt, what would you like people to know about you? Um, what would you like them to know about you when they watch Hosea's Bride and who you, you know, who you really are and, and what you have to offer this world? What do you want them to know about you? Well, I do have a, I have been married for 21 years, I'll be honest, and I brought a lot of my marriage experience and life experience in that to the piece. <laughs> Wonderful. And, um, it was really instructive in how to, um, dance, dance a part of Hosea, um, 
because every marriage has its up and down. Ups of course, and of course. And, um, if it's a real one, yes, right, exactly, <laughs> exactly. And you were able to tap into, because because we really, you know, we were actors as well as dancers. Because for the eight different dances that we did together. Uh, solo and together, we had to draw upon our life experience, and so there was a theme for each and every. There was a theme for each and every dance. And Matt, it was so wonderful working with you. You're an extraordinary human being. You're an amazing servant of God. Um, you know, I was so blessed to be able to work alongside you. And and uh, what are your hopes for Jose's bride? Well, I hope we can actually get back together and um, work on it more because it is a work on progress and mm -hmm. develop it. Mm -hmm. And then take it in short trips to different places, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which would be really different what nations. the Lord's calling us to. Yes, different yes. nations, even back here in Israel. It yeah. Would be good to spend four weeks going around Israel with it. Yeah, and, uh, and that's, I, that's just off the top of my head. Please yeah. don't expect Leora to do anything with that. Just <laughs> because we never know what the plans are going to be, what the Lord does bring us. Yeah. Into. Well, my desire over the years is also to see it go to the nations and. And my dear friend has uh, has really seen a vision for it being translated into Hebrew. And the composers actually really like that idea. So Hosea's Bride may very well be transferred, uh, translated sometime into Hebrew. So, um, yeah, so your, your precious wife, Sue, she's from South Korea and she's such a darling. She really is. And we had her in the front row and we dedicated the evening to her. And we're so happy that she was blessed. And... Um, it was a victory. It was a real victory. To, even though it is a work in progress, it was so wonderful to be able to bring it forth at a very secular venue, um, a very challenging venue, but, you know, the Lord brings us from glory to glory. Is there anything else that you would like to say about your time in Israel? Because I know you're heading back to New Zealand next week. Anything else you'd like to say? It's been a really blessed time being in the land here. Um, I've gotten to really connect with my Jewish roots, with my belief and faith, mm -hmm. and it's just just amazing how Jewish, you know, once you believe, even you become, you know. Yeah, because you're, you're tapping into those Jewish roots. Yeah, I don't know if I should have brought that out here, but yeah. No, it's fine. Yeah. No, you're, you, you're, you know, your faith is Jewish. You know, you believe in the Messiah of Israel, and so um, it's not unusual at all, Matt. There are many, many people who come to Israel who start to touch their Jewish roots when they come here. It's like something happens. So, no, that's a wonderful yeah. thing to share. Absolutely. Um, so, oh, well, anything so else you'd like? Say, yes. Um, when I first came here, when we were originally planning the trip, I never really thought we'd be coming to Israel for anything. But my wife wanted to come for three months. But it turned out to be the whole highlight of the thing. That's wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So, uh, Matt, as you know, Matt has been dancing in all these, the five concerts that I've been doing at the First Station. He has been helping with the audience. He's done solos. He's been, been like a right-hand man to me, and I really appreciated it. And I just thank you so much, Matt. I really, from the bottom of my heart, really don't have words to thank you for coming alongside and being Hosea um, to me as Gomer. So thank you so much, and uh, we, we hope to see you again soon, Matt. Shalom Hitraot. God bless you, brother. Yes, same to you, too. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much for having me. You're Bye. welcome. Bye.